A few successful hours here could change a player's life forever. Just ask Colin Jones. He was in this very same position last year. As a defensive back for TCU, he was a virtual unknown to NFL scouts. But he put up numbers that day, which grabbed everyone's attention. When you're in a position like me where you uh, didn't have as much attention, didn't get invited to the combine, it's, it's very critical to have a good day here with all the scouts here. and. Uh, you know, that's exactly what happened with me. I was able to have a pretty good day and open the open the door a little bit. A door which led him to a spot on the roster for the San Francisco 49ers. So now he's a safety in the NFL, as opposed to what he might have been doing had he not been drafted in the sixth round. Maybe in law school somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was blessed enough to have a pretty good day and everything works out for a reason. Of the 14 players who worked out in TCU's indoor practice facility, only one was showing off his skills for a second time. Linebacker Tank Carter was the lone Horn Frog invited to this year's NFL Combine. Here it's, you know, you get a lot, you get a lot less time to sit there and wait to come up to, to do what you need to do at the Combine. It's, you go in 10 seconds and then you wait for 15 and then you go in 10 seconds, you wait for 15. Here you're waiting and then once you start, you're boom, boom, boom. So it's, the, the pace is a little different, but as far as football, it's just, it's all football. Cornerback and return specialist Greg McCoy didn't have the luxury of being invited to the Combine. So this pro day was his one shot, and he took it seriously. It was my life, actually. Today was uh, dedicated to, to my life. Um, I've, uh, we've worked out uh, for, for weeks now, and uh, we've just anticipated this day. So everything was focused on this day. It was very important. Somebody asked me earlier, uh, well, you know, should all of them be out here working out? Well, nobody knew who Malcolm William was. Here he's got a Super Bowl ring. Nobody knew who Colin Jones was. Uh, until he ran a 4-3-2 at this, and, uh, and he got all the way to the, the championship game for the 49ers. It's those kind of success stories which keep the dream alive for players trying to make it to the NFL. A dream realized for former TCU quarterback Andy Dalton, who didn't really need TCU's 2011 Pro Day to make him stand out. During last year's draft, he was a 35th overall pick, landing with the Cincinnati Bengals. Dalton was also picked to play in the Pro Bowl his rookie season. Even with all that success, Dalton wanted to come back and throw to his former teammates who were trying their best to impress the 14 NFL scouts on hand this day. They've worked really hard since the season ended. You know, that's the thing. You, you work for three months for, for this one day. And so, uh, you know, they've prepared well. And so it's just going out and showing what you can do. Because it only takes one scout to like what he sees. And a pro career can be born just like that. In Fort Worth, for the Mountain, I'm Amanda Maisie.